<laughs> What's going on? My name's Dan Geesling. Welcome back to the next episode of Escape from Tarkov, where we last left off. We put together two really good, potentially legendary back-to-back -back runs. Um, but I want to get a little bit of rust off. This is the first recordation for the day, so I don't want to come in completely geared up. Um, so we're in as a scab. You can see what we got here. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Nothing too crazy to write home about, but sometimes, you know, uh, I don't want to say I used to. Because uh, that's not the right terminology, but I used to write off scab runs, right? You know, like sometimes you just, you, you kind of write them off. You'd be like, hey, if I can get out, hey, I'll, I'll get, you know, some very low tier gunnage. But if you missed our best scab run of all time two days ago on the channel... I have a completely different perspective on scavengers. Yeah, it's not likely, but there's opportunities. There's timing issues where you could come in with nothing but a pea shooter and you come out with racks upon racks upon racks and no one has any idea it was you. It's just, it really comes down to you want to know, you, you can't always define falutancy. Sometimes you can just display it. And while that was not this run, there are opportunities to make this a run. So it's a little raining here. I'm, you can see I'm kind of spamming the run for reasons I don't necessarily understand. I mean, I understand. I, I don't want to make a ton of noise, but at the same time, we're going hospital. So we're going to have to make some noise at some point. At least just to get there. I, I do feel though. That the soft skills. I feel like they've been leveling up a lot slower than usual. Um, and I don't have a, a reasoning for that. But also just in terms of general progression. When, you, when you're going from instant coffee to, to cold drip. I feel like for us. The difference in gameplay, because there's some times, like, especially if you watch a live show Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Dan Kiesling. If you watch that, you know, we have some severe ups and downs. Like, we'll go, like, a stream and just go 0 and 10. But I really think what it comes down to, and it's, it's a tough sell, Rook Passage, is uh, Patience. You know, the more patience we're able to manifest and display, the better we do. Like, it's like, hey, should we be sprinting up to this building? Probably not. So let's not do it. Should we walk on this fence? Slowly. Do we think anyone's in here? Probably not. Alright, I, I heard some some banter. It was a scav. Uh, if they have good stuff, we'll sit them down. If they don't, we'll work together as a collective unit. But there are clearly scavs around. And let's see if this, this does not appear to be looted. So now, now you got the age-old question. Do you sit down scavs or do you just try to build this, this run up with falutency in your pockets? Uh, it's all about, you know what? It, it's all about a feel. What are we getting? Are we getting CPU fans or are we getting something to write home about? I will say this. We are in dire need of the customs office key because we need it to complete a quest. Now, are we going to pull it out here? There's potentiality for it. Is it likely? Maybe not. But you always got to give it the good old college try. You got to be kidding me. Oh, I thought if that was it. Now now we've got some hot, heavy, heavy incentive to get that heck out of here. 204 is a brand new key. I think it's going to be time to go here. Anytime we get a new key, especially for custies, I feel like... We got to run for it. 
because I'm going to go out on a limb and say that was probably going to be the best item we pull here, but you never know. I'm going to keep a low profile here. <laughs> a low profile while we're looting like a mad King Targaryen. We'll hit these and I think we're going to get out of here. I, I, I feel dialed in enough to... Get out of here and get a nice scab pack. You know, hey, look. You take what you can get while you can get it. All right, four more to go, then we're out of here. So, you know, I know that to me this is like it's almost, almost like opening loot boxes. When you when you get a chance to pull one of the cabinets drawers open because you don't know what you're going to get. There could be a gold chain in here that we're going to pull in three, two, one. You, you just never know. It's the they they found a way to work free loot boxes into the game. Mm. Yeah, we'll take it. All right. Okay, that's. Hundred percent, it's that away. So I really don't want to lose this key. Wrecked road, ruined house fence. That's on the other side of Malarcus Maximus. So, I mean, we don't have anything more to loot here. Isn't there a duffel in here or something? I think it's time for us to get out of Dodge. We're going to try and go for the... The wrecked fence road, although I, I just I can't pass a bucket. Yeah, there's shots to our left ear, but what if there's a large weaponry in there? <laughs> what is that? Ooh, that's a nice suppy. It's time to go. It's time to go. Um, Civility dead end. Have no idea. The only place I know where to go is the wrecked house. It's on the opposite side of the map. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and bring us in over there. If it gets hairy, I'll bring us back in. All right, we just we just took a little bit of jaunt. We the 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 hospital's behind us to the left a little bit. It's a feeling something's gonna happen, you know. But that's the thing about Tarkov. There there's these intermittent downtimes where it's like, all right, we're gonna keep it fluency. But at the same time, if I have a feeling it's just nothing but sprinting coming up, I mean that's the thing you never really know. Then I try to dial in. Alright, so we're looking for the broken fence. But I thought we have to ruin the house fence. I thought we have to bring money to do that. I, I will be a little... A little deacquiescent on that. And also, I don't want to seem... Ungrateful at all. We picked up an AK-74U, right? Any bullets in it? It's full. All right. I would cons I'm probably if we we're so lucky enough. Or I don't want to say lucky. If we're skilled enough to extract with it, probably gonna sell it. I mean, after that last scab run, we picked up a plethora of high-level modded AKs. We don't need to hoard AKs right now. Not AK of the 74U variety. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think that's, that's showing too much hubris. I, I think it's respecting the stash. My opinion. It's a, it's a, it's a level of stash respect. 
Because we have plenty of AK-74Us. I, I feel like three to four, if you're worried about going for broke, right? Which at any time, we could get heavily wiped. Like, and then, you know, three to four is like a good backup stash where, hey, look, it, it's not much to write home about, but at least can get you back in the ball game if you bet all in on this 7-2 offsuit. All right, Spice Town, USA. I believe we're coming up here on Rook Passage. I don't think we scooped it. Maybe we did. I don't think so, though. I, I think we have... Yeah, we, I mean, we've got a little bit of ways to go to the extract. But I expect some spice up here. The good thing is we're in good standing with the scavs. Question is, this is probably a good place to sit a bunch of scabs down. But we came into the raid pretty early. So because of that, you gotta think. Someone may have looted and scooted. And now they're looking to take. Yep, I saw him. We're out of juice. We're out of juice. Alright. We're out of juice here. I saw the guy drop. I'd like to try and get away and rap on him. I don't want to lose this key. I I mean, is this a heavy wrap? I mean, and here's the thing. And we have 30, 30 bullets. It's just not a, an engagement, I think, that... Unless we get a hard jump on them, it's going to be a tough sell. So if we are going to do that, we got to be heck very quiet. That one leaf, I'm telling you, that one leaf cost us. That's it. I mean, we had what we wanted in front of us. This the next cute. We're going to dial back in with a loaded customs run. Little error. All right, so dialing back into a, a geared up shoreline run. We got pack a cold pack, but most importantly, we've got a decked out Vapor with 7.62 ammo. Limited recoil. So we're going to kind of play this as as it's dealt to us a little bit. Meaning I'm not going to rush Hospi. We need to play this pretty smart. I will check one of these houses though. We haven't been here in a very long time. This is a single shot Vepper. So we got to be aware of that. Yeah, I'll do the gun. I'll do the gun. The gun burst digi dance. I don't know what a digi dance is. We just made it up. But quickly. Open close. This is a place we don't often loot, really ever. And I gotta imagine we're the first person here in a fresh spawn, so let's just Take the moments as we can get them. I mean, maybe not the wisest place to loot out in the open. Someone's running. I 
I don't think someone double back, but I just want to be in a position where... Of strength up here, right? There's only one way up here. And that's through the road to perdition. Oh, this is a great vantage point here. Also a nice little gun safe. Nothing in the gun safe. Okay. Let's let's not cry over spilt milk. Let's take it some circuitry and some CPU fans. Okay, we got shots to the north here a little bit. I think there's got to be some good stuff in here to loot. That's Gabe calling. I'd love to see someone just run across there. All right. Um, it's a little dark in here. Well, let's, uh, this is not a familiar loot area for me. I've been here maybe a small handful of times. Gun bucket. Oh, that's not a gun bucket. But there is a safe. I thought that was a gun bucket in the corner, but it was an ottoman. I mean, this place couldn't have been looted. All right, well, let's keep it moving here. I hear some faint shots to our left ear, but let's, uh... Let's be careful here. Would I say this house is loot-worthy? Uh, that's where we came in from. We'll check the back door here and then... We'll get out of here. I just, I don't think anyone's in here, but. I think there's also like a barrel where a key spawns. Outside. What are those sponges? All right, let's, let's get out of here. All right, a little nervous. I don't I don't know why there's uh, levels of nervousness. But th this loot was just West Wing room 2 t a red key. That's got to be what? That's got to be something new to they they put in to distinguish. Whatever it is, I like it. Was it worth it? You better believe it. I know there's like a, a some kind of oil drum around here. Let's be quiet though. Quickly. Exposure limited. Payday. Where is that? I think it's back here. Where is that tin can at? Might be on the other house. All right. Let's uh, let's redial here. I'm happy about the red key. I don't like our exposure here. Someone's outside. Do I have a grenade? I do. 
I don't think this is a door. I could only hope it's not a door. Let's go! I don't know if we're alone, I'm panicked. I thought I saw a red dot. Let's go! Oh, this dude is loaded. He's loaded. Out of our minds. We should probably move a little bit quicker here. I know it's it's not ideal, but for right now we're taking it. We need this for a quest. He searches pockets. All right. Um, we need some space here. Look, we're sticking with we're sticking with the gun that got us here. All right. Now it's time to think about getting the heck out of here. <laughs> Road to customs. Rock passage. Or CCP pier boat. I think pier boat's the way we're going to try and go. So let's hit the shore here. And if, if that doesn't work out, then we'll go. I actually think it's this way, though. I think it's this way. Why didn't we shoot? Where'd he go? We lost him. We lost him. Let's go. Oh, we had a shot at him. We didn't take the shot. Look. He still could be out here. You can't be mad that you didn't take the shot because we're still alive. <laughs> Stay dialed here. We must have face tapped that guy, man. Don't live in the past, live in the present. All right, we're we're back in the present moment here. Sure, I'd love to go to Scav Island. But I also enjoy winning. I think we probably should have taken shots, we would have been okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let me know in the comments below. Should we? The question of the episode. This is how I know who, who watches the episode. Should we have taken the shot? Y or N? I'm just trying to get out of here right now. Pier boat, CCP, ruck passage. 
I mean, it's a little bit hard to see with the, the visor on, but hey. You'll never hear me cry over a visor. Because we need it. Uh, Road to Customs, Pier Boat. Oh, we put a lot on him. We put a lot on him. We, could, we didn't put it all together, though. That's a great positioning. I wonder if that was the guy. He got us in the stomach. I wonder how much we did. We killed a level 36. Yeah, I didn't even see him. I, I'm going to go back. As soon as this, we're done looking at this, I'm going to go back and look at the tape. Oh. I felt like we put a couple on him. Maybe they're a little too high. On the flip side, added another individual to the pile of shame. Although, um, well, there, there's some... We, look, it was all is not lost. We got our fifth celly. We got a new key. Um, which one do we not need? Car key. I mean, I guess ZB104 unless we go back. Excited about the new 220 key. That's worth about 6 Gs. Picked up a little bit of monies. But I think we could trade them in now. We've done it. All right. There's always, there's always a bright side to every L. 10,000 rupees, painkillers, we need it. <laughs> oh, man. That guy got us. That, he got us. Ooh. We could turn over the gas analyzer. Just need one. Well, hey, look. About time you did an important service. We can do Operation Aquarius. That means we need to go to Customs. Sanitations part two. Find three. Get we've been hanging on to those for a reason. Hand them over. Lots of monies. Let's see what we get for all this nonsensicals. Completed, completed. Alright. So we got some monies in our back pocket. What did we get for, for it? 18,000 ruples. Would I rather have the stuff we had? Yes, but that's part of life. Car kit's actually very excited about. And all these things we will be using except for the splints. All right. With that being said, another day, another run. I, I think it was, it was a mixed bag, right? It, there was some good. There was some bad. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for dialing in. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, click the like button. Episode a great deal as always. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Escape from Tarkov video. If you enjoyed it, I want to let you know we go live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash dangeesling with more highfalutin gameplay just like you see right here in Tarkov. We have a lot of fun with the game. We don't take it super serious. Uh, but really what we focus on in the community is having a positive, clean, entertaining environment. Uh, we'd love for you guys to join us Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, twitch.tv slash dangeesling. If there's any ever confusion as to when we go live, go to whenisdanlive.com. And I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey.